Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my Manchester United career on FIFA 14. This past Saturday, Louis van Gaal's reign at Old Trafford began against Swansea, but that game ended in defeat. It certainly wasn't the result me and every United fan was expecting. We had a fantastic pre-season, winning every single game over in America. The players' morale, sky high, they were raring to go to right those wrongs from last season. But instead of United coming away with three points on the opening day of the new Premier League season, the same old problems surfaced against Swansea. The thoughts of last season just lingered around Old Trafford, lingered around every United fan watching worldwide. There were a few positives to take from the game on Saturday, believe it or not. Passing looked pretty good, you know, it was sharp, it was snappy, but it just wasn't enough to create those chances. Chances weren't frequent enough against Swansea, and that was our downside to the game. We saw the debuts of Tyler Blackett and Jesse Lingard for the first time for United in a competitive game. Tyler Blackett such a mature player at such a young age that's great to see and I hope we uh, we see him throughout this season and Jesse Lingard he only played 20 minutes of the game and I felt so sorry for him obviously you know at such a young age he wants to get out there try and make a name for himself now for United after so many seasons of being on loan not being given the call up and Saturday was his chance and Ashley Williams comes in with a damn crunching tackle and takes him out hopefully it's nothing too serious and that he'll be back on his feet in no time I just felt sorry for Lingard you know it was his first competitive debut for United and he could only play 20 minutes of that game such a shame and that I'm afraid is the only really positives that I saw from the game I mean Phil Jones did did well you know I was impressed with Phil Jones he held himself up nicely uh, playing in that center half position but apart from that, I don't, I don't really recall anything else apart from the goal by Rooney, which, you know, obviously got Old Trafford roaring again. And it made us believe that United can turn this around, we could come away with the win. But what United failed to do was switch it up a bit, pushing the ball wide, feeding it into Rooney or Hernandez, doing what they do best. Mata was another option for United if they wanted to go through the middle. You know, Mata is an architect. He strings it all together, that's what he does best. And he was playing in his position in that number 10 role where he seemed so at home in the preseason tour of America. But against Swansea, United just missed his presence on the pitch. He just seemed to be taking his time and not getting involved as much as we would expect him to be. And again, that's where United fail. You know, they weren't feeding the ball to Mata, Hernandez, and Rooney they had to be coming in from all different angles and we just failed to do that we was concentrating too much on keeping the ball and just playing it safe at the back you know there was too much shuffling going on between the back three there in the first half you gotta give it to Swansea you know they really held themselves nicely against United they they kept their shape throughout the whole of the game and they just looked so threatening so deadly every movement that Swansea made in that first half it just seemed so predetermined they'd obviously been on the the training ground working on that on their attacking movement and United just fell into that trap I kind of expected better from Phil Jones when the first goal went in from Key but everything just happened so quickly and Wilfred Bonney as we know is a big fella for a centre forwards and to be fair he did a good job of just completely blocking Phil Jones blocking his view of the ball and just stopping him from maybe making a challenge maybe deflecting the ball away and that allowed Key to take his time pretty much to line up his shot and then pull the trigger and that was the goal that kind of shook us all as United fans because we we saw pre-season we I know I know it's not all about the result in pre-season but the performances over in America I just kind of expected better against Swansea United came out fighting in the second half they were in a winning mood you could just tell the players they looked focused they were re-energized Van Gaal had changed the formation at this point to the 4-4-1-1 formation so Rooney was up front on his own Mata just behind the equaliser did United the world of goods momentum was sky high at that point but we just failed to hold on to it and I do think 
that when Van Gaal made that decision to take Herrera off, that was our, that was our downfall in the second half to then go on and win it. I understand that Van Gaal may not want to rush Herrera into competitive English football, uh, and that's fair enough, you know, he didn't want him to pick up a silly injury, he didn't want him to become unfit for the next game against Sunderland. But as soon as Herrera went off, I, I really thought that that was, that was our downfall. He really did keep our midfield together alongside Darren Fletcher. Those two, I thought, kept the engine ticking over. But as soon as Herrera was replaced by Fellaini, we just reverted back to old habits from last season that we were used to when David Moyes was in charge. And in a way, it was kind of inevitable that United were going to go on and lose the game. And I, I hate to say that. But we just lost that spark that United very much need. We need to bring back those winning ways that we were used to a couple of years ago when Sir Alex was in charge. And I've got every bit of confidence that Van Gaal can do that. I mean, the game against Swansea on the weekend, yes, it wasn't the best start to the season. But it's just one game. Let's see what he can do now. And of course, let's see what the players can come up with in that game against Sunderland on Sunday at the Stadium of Light. That's where Manchester United's season begins. They need to come up with the goods. I do believe with the, the next two weeks before the transfer window is shut, that signings are inevitable. And Van Gaal has even come out to the press and, and recognised that. And it's also been noted that former United legends like Gary Neville, Paul Scholes, they've all come out and said, you know, United need, and we all know that as fans, United need to sign at least two, three, maybe even four top players if we want to be competing for Champions League football for next season. Do I think we can complete those deals? Yeah, why not? Two weeks? Who knows? Woodward may have been in contact with them for the last couple of weeks, trying to string together these deals, renegotiating and so on. We're not to know that as fans, you know, they keep that all locked up until, of course, they actually announce the signing. So let's just see what happens in these next two weeks. If nothing happens, then obviously United, I don't think, will be getting Champions League football for next season unless Van Gaal can really work his magic on this team and really turn us around and bring back those performances that we saw in the USA Tour. If we can start dominating teams like that, in the Premier League then of course that would be fantastic but United are just lacking quality that's the main thing we need quality in the team once again so signings I believe are inevitable within the next two weeks they have to be simple as that so anyway guys be sure to let me know what you think about United's opening day fixture against Swansea where we lost 2-1 be sure to let me know in the comments below what your thoughts were on Saturday when you was watching the game live I look forward to reading them I did actually write up a review of what I thought about the game against Swansea on my new website Just United you can find the link to that in the description below so that's pretty much it for my review of uh, the Swansea game on the weekend not the best start but United can pick it up. I'm sure they can, especially with Van Gaal in charge. Anyway, what's been happening in my career mode save with United? You've seen quite a few magnificent goals, especially that one from Nani, 40, 45 yards out. Pick that, that top right-hand corner out superbly and, and just find the back of the net. I, I was taken aback. I was shocked. I had to watch it a couple of times on the replay, and I hope you guys enjoy seeing them as well we also went on to beat Leicester 2-1 we went 1-0 behind and I thought oh no we're going to get a repeat of what happened earlier on in the season where it ended 1-1 where we should have been doing a lot better but this time we got a slight bit of revenge and got those three points against Leicester this game though against Chelsea was in the FA Cup Chelsea found the mark in the 33rd minute a shot by Willian poorly defended just clip the inside of the post and roll across the line. Also, whilst I think about it, you've already seen it a bit earlier on in this episode. The transfer window is now open. We are in January. You've already seen some offers that I've got from the likes of uh, Monaco for Nani, for Fellaini as well. And I've also been trying to string together some deals. One of being Angel Di Maria, who's a favourite amongst you guys. You want to see him at United in this career mode save. And I'm trying to bring in a top player before I end this career mode uh, before FIFA 15 is released so do watch this space something will happen maybe in the next video you guys are just gonna have to stay tuned to find out who it might be 
Chelsea, though, they went on in this game to beat Manchester United 2-1. United bail out of the FA Cup, unfortunately. And that, guys, will be the end of this episode. Hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you all very soon for the next one. Thanks for watching.